this works. All right, now I need to share the link. <laughs> I'm share the link. Great question. Here's the, can I slack it to you? Yep. Well, no one's here yet because we just created this. Nope, everyone's waiting on the other one. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. So we had some technical difficulties for those who are watching this recorded later. Um, we had to start on a brand new thing and no one's here. So now we're trying to get everyone who's waiting in the other place the link to this one. So that's where we're at. So now I'm sharing the link. Copy text. All right. I guess some folks coming in here. Hey, everybody. Sorry about the technical difficulties. It's a little bit awkward. It's like we just did this last week. It shouldn't be this complicated. Oh, uh, we're getting a hold of it. We changed our location, as you can tell. Yes, that For hair. those of you that were here. Yeah, the hair is getting out of control. Should I turn off these lamps? Are they, are they obnoxious? If you do, you won't be able to see anything going on back there. But you can experiment it like with it. glows. Yeah, it might be a bit much. I can try experimenting with the lamps. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. How's that? Hey, kiddos. <laughs> Your hair is awesome. Puff levels. How's that? See, that's really dark. No, it's good. We can. No, we can. a little light. Okay. No, is that no good? No. Highly professional operation here, folks. That's better. We're good. See, now we're really grainy. It's fine. It's just really grainy. Just, we need to tap pens. Forget the tech. Like, just look. This whole period right now is letting go of expectations, <laughs> letting go of perfection, and just being good enough, whatever that means. And if we're a little grainy, we're a little grainy. Sorry. We might be a little grainy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Biggest shopper and fan, huh? Well, thank you very much for supporting us during this crazy time. I got this little fill light here. Woo, let me try putting it back here. Give us a little bit of a little bit of backlight. So you gotta have a little definition, Rachel, otherwise your head just blends into the background. All right. Um, yeah, I apologize everybody. YouTube like fritzed out on me. We haven't done live streams in a long time. Last week it was like flawless and we were live streaming three different things at once. And uh, this week it did not. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the people waiting on the other one over here. So like as soon as the time hit for it to go live, it just deleted the ability for us to get into it. So we could see it from the outside, from the link that was created, but we could not manage it from the back end. How long are we on isolation? That is a great question. So in Virginia, we have stay at home orders through June 10th. Um, Virginia has, and Virginia schools are closed through June, through the end of the school year as well. Virginia has done a really good job of being early with some of these things. So, um, you know, it's kind of been popcorn different states, but Virginia has been very quick to shut things down. So I think I'm looking at like trends. Our, our curve has already been flattened and I think we're mm -hmm. going to see our peak hit a little later and hopefully our hospitals and everything will be, uh, capable to you know, hold up with everything. So we're going to be hold up for a little while, but that's what we got to do to stay open. safe. So that's where we're at. That's so um, for yeah. those not in the loop, our website is open, but we are unable to ship. We're working remotely, but we're not shipping out of our warehouse. We're going to reassess, you know, in a few weeks as we see how, you know, all the health things go. Thank you, Marilyn. So we appreciate all your support. Um, that's very sweet. This guy launched today. Um, apologies, it was so late in the day. We were waiting on like one more box to arrive and it was very late. Drivers get used to delivering to our house and stuff like that. So this is the Twisby 580 Smoke Rose Gold 2. Two. So it has Relaunch. a translucent uh, cap and grip section and piston knob, a rose gold trim. So it is in stock. We still have them, which is, you know, normally with Twisby first day shipping right now so it's given the later launch and stuff so this is a great pen to check out um it is a regular edition if we do sell out or if you you know whatever situation you're in you're not buying it right now don't fret there will be more later um you know the factory is obviously impacted by everything going on so things are going to kind of trickle in throughout the year but no it's not we're not doing april fool's jokes we learned we learned a long time ago that there are some groups of people who really have difficulty um 
they, they don't recognize sarcasm online and it's a very difficult day for them. Um, so we want to be respectful to those um, Asperger's, things like that, who, who really struggle. So no yeah. April Fool's jokes here. We're, we're on the up and up. <laughs> Frank, Frank Overman asked, uh, does it have a rose gold nib? Uh, it's rose gold plated. It's not solid rose gold. Um, so it's a stainless steel nib that's plated in rose gold. There you go. Um, Vincent says, Gooley pins will need a tractor trailer the first day that you ship. <laughs> Well, we might. It's going to be. I mean, we're technically it's a box truck that comes and picks up our stuff. We're very so. slow right it's now. Close. So if you add up all the days, it'll. It, yeah. Um, let's see some other things that recently launched on earlier this week. Um, we got two new Diplomat Magnum colors. So there's a hot pink and a lime green, um, and these are a fantastic value pen. So new yeah. colors. I like the pink one myself, of course. The pink one's hot. Hot pink. I like it what they call it i appreciate a good pink too i think you're a little nice one. Do i am i kind of scrolled up because we blew through, blew past a few comments but uh lots of just like we do here. not have mont blanc um they have not yet decided to sell to us because we don't have a brick and mortar storefront and that's a requirement for them so online yeah. only um i do want to show you one other thing that we're launching tomorrow morning probably because it arrived at like 6 p.m today and you know that's oh, i guess we have to cut this open huh let's see yeah you gotta cut it we, we have scissors? a new sailor. Do we have we sell sailor handy. now. We do. Uh, scissors, yeah. Scissors are around somewhere. We're all discombobulated. Now you're going to see my sweatpants. Oh, no. Woo. Oh, no. I'm, feel, I'm feeling all proud of myself because I'm wearing jeans. I have been wearing <laughs> jeans every day since the quarantine started, except today. Today's the one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to be comfy and wear sweatpants <laughs> because no one's going to see. Well, guess what? Y'all saw. So this is launching tomorrow morning. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Blue Dwarf. And what you might not be able to tell is those are sparkles. You can sort of tell. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, sort of. Little specks. But they are sparkly. Um, this is the smaller size. It has a 14 karat gold nib, rhodium plated. This is a limited production run. So there are 1,500 of these worldwide, but they're not individually numbered. So it's a limited production in that there's a fixed quantity they made but not limited edition. That's not limited. It's not individually numbered. So we'll have this tomorrow in all seven nib sizes. So that's very exciting. Terry's asking, when will the platinum Curidos be available? So we it's, it's held up in It's held up in customs. No, it was supposed to be delivered today. We heard this oh. morning it was held in customs. Then we heard it's going to distributor day. We should have it. I'll say by mid next week. Um, no, I mean, we could have it as early as like Monday, but in case we need a photograph, if the colors are a little off, I just yeah. want to make sure that we get it right. So I would say within a week. The timelines for pretty much all deliveries have been completely blown up because the whole supply chain and uh, everything has just completely been rocked with the coronavirus stuff. So as uncertain as it ever has been, it's even worse now. So <laughs> Someone's trying. asking, being a fountain pen retailer, I'm assuming you tend to use nice paper. I'm curious, what kind of printer paper do you use at the GPC? So we've, we've rotated a few through the years. Like a favorite has been the HP LaserJet. LaserJet 24, 24 pound. Yeah. I don't know what we're currently using. It's, it's, I, um, I brought a pack of it home. We don't it's, print as much as we used to. Um, since we got yeah. our new software, um, we, we've been reducing our, our paper and stuff. So, um, yeah. Yeah. We haven't been using like anything super uber special fancy. I mean, I've got a ream of it over there to show it. Who is oh my gosh. You? Somebody's trying to Deacon call nine. <laughs> Um, it's been a weird day. Um, will we be getting the Lummi Safari Candy and the Pico Rose Gold? So yes, the Lummi Safari Candy it should be, I'm going to say like the end of next week. It was supposed to be arriving into the U.S. around now. So it just takes a while to unpack and ship to us. These are what they look like. We have some samples. Um, the Pico Rose Gold, no, because it's not a fountain pen. So we're kind of sticking with our, our lane there. So these are the candies. If you haven't seen them yet, we do have a video out on these. So you can see them in more detail. More detail than we can show here, but these are them. So in case you were curious. Ryan really wants to know what's the best flex pen we sell. He's asked like five times. Um, best is subjective. subjective. Um, I can tell you some of our favorites. Um, if you're looking for most affordable, the noodlers are going to be the best bang for the buck. Um, the Conklin makes a lot of uh, their, their pens are now available with the Omniflex nib. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorites is the I don't know if I'd call it a flex so much as a soft, but the Peniter, um, uh, the uh, the quill the nib. Quill nib. 
it's more, I would consider that it's more, more soft, soft than flex, but like I can get some good line variation out of that. My favorite to use um, because it doesn't require. Um, the Noodler's Triple Tail actually has um, become, a, become a recent favorite of mine. Um, that one's been very well received. Is the green really different than prior releases? Um, actually, if you go to our blog, um, it was maybe February or so, but we have some pictures showing this compared to previous ones. Um, so it is different in color than the past Aquamarine that they had. Um, but we have some side-by-side -side pictures on the blog, so definitely go check that out. Arkansas Mike here uh, said he might have missed this, but when do we think we'll be shipping again? Um, we're not sure. Um, it's we're kind of waiting on guidance from Virginia. We're kind of, I think, honestly, for sure, not in the next two weeks because we expect the, um, the you know, the curve that everyone knows what the curve I'm talking about has been right and kind of waiting to see what peak looks like and how it impacts things. Um, yeah. Number one priority for us is not the money, it's our team's safety. So we don't want anyone returning to the Even if it's one person, we don't want to put anyone in jeopardy until we feel it is safe for them to do so. So, yeah. At minimum, I would say probably a few weeks, um, but we're going to reassess like every week. I mean, gosh, how much has changed in the last two weeks? It's hard to know what two weeks from now yeah. looks like. But, um, but we're not going to, I mean, our kids are having a lot of fun in the other room. Really are we're going There's to, no bedtimes anymore. There's no school. We're doing know our what best. Day of the week it is, hardly. Um, so we, we don't know when we're going to start shipping, but we're, we're taking it week by week. We're, try, we're trying um, to, it'll, we're it'll trying probably to, be a phased approach. We won't be like, all right, it's back to normal, but it'll start with like a couple people with social do we, distancing. Do we, we really we know what normal is going to look like on the other side of this? Like, but you any can't, of us? like you can't relax you know? the social distancing too quickly. Then you get another spike. So yeah. So um, realistically, we're going to go like a, like she mentioned, a phase approach where we have, you know, some people come back in distanced from each other and we go back to start catching up. He's back backlog. into that. It's just, it's, it's not yet known when it's going to be safe to do that. Um, it might be May. We're it being, might be late April. It might be June. I, I just don't know. We're being overly cautious because it's not like the governor is like n not allowing us to be in our building right now. We are being a little overly cautious, but um, you know. Yes, our our team is getting paid in full to be at home. Yeah. We've committed through the end of April, and again, we're taking things as it comes. Now there's legislation that we've been all week trying to figure out there's like loans there's grants there's all kinds of and can you do one and not the other it's a lot, and through, it's, yeah. it's a lot but we are actively figuring all that out um yeah. our goal is to keep as many of them employed as long as possible even if they have nothing to do at home um because it's just the right thing to do for us and so we're going to do that as long as we can so yeah. family you know family family first our team first safety first um the pens you know, they'll, they'll be there. Our, our plan is to be here in the long haul. So we are very, very grateful for everyone who is placing an order right now, because that is income that we are able to use to keep going. And we're reserving your, your pen for you. So if you order mm -hmm. this thing, it is yours and we will ship as soon as we can. Yeah. We're not selling anything that we don't have possession of. So right. it's definitely secure. And gift um, cards are a good option too. Oh, good Sharon, question. Oh. Well, she, sorry. Sharon here has asked this multiple times. Um, she says she means our orders like from wholesalers. So like, how uh, are we receiving shipments? Um, in? Limited. So some of our wholesalers, our distributors are closed. Some are like skeleton crew, like literally two or three people in the office or one person a day. So everything's kind of delayed. We've prioritized a few new products and a few like really key restocks. And we're having them shipped to our house, like the good old days. Um, I'll tell you what, I really appreciate Trevor and Micah are receiving specialists <laughs> right now because it is, I mean, we used to do this from the very beginning. Beginning, but as the volume Not and everything the scale. Is, it is hard work like my back hurts and just having to check everything off and i currently have like 20 boxes i need to move from the dining room to the other room. side the other side of the house and i'm like i'm not excited about doing this so i'm very trevor Micah, if you're watching i appreciate you so much Always. especially all the staff from peanuts for the worst michael asked would, uh, would we ever do one of these on zoom actually you are doing um i'm doing a zoom on yeah. saturday at 2 p.m yeah. Eastern is being the kind of guest for Yaffa, um, which is one of our distributors for Conklin, Monteverde, Peniter, Stipula, <laughs> Diplomat. There's so many brands. They just they um, just did one with Dante last yeah, week. Yeah, Dante Del Vecchio was on. Well. So he's going to be uh, the guest this week. Um, no, he won't get a haircut soon because all the haircut places are closed. I got to um, cut it myself. Or no cut barbers, it. no bowling alleys. Like there's, it's, for stay-at-home orders are, are serious. It's only essential businesses. You say bowling alleys? Bowling alleys are closed. Where did that come from? Now? I'm just talking about types of businesses that are closed. 
Okay. Entertainment and things think, like that. I think also we're just gonna like we're just gonna see how how it gets. This is gonna, it's gonna be gonna like a, a thing. How long has it been? You know. Be like, hey, remember that time when uh, there was something going on? But remember Brian's hair? How out of control it got? That might have happen. we heard if all the companies in Italy, if everybody's okay? Um, I haven't heard of any, you know, fatalities as far or as we anything know, from as far those as we, we know. know. Um, you know, folks like Dante um, are just hanging out at home making pasta, if you see on his Facebook page. Um, no, don't shave your head. It's You can go back to the videos a long oh time ago to see his, his buzzed hair. No, he doesn't get his hair cut at the bowling alley. I don't know why. <laughs> I was really thrown by the bowling alley. Naming businesses that are closed. I don't know. Um, will we do a video on the sailor? Maybe at some point. Um, we're not really set up to do formal videos right now, but it is something we are working towards. Um, thank I you, only... thank you, Tamara. Just she said she just ordered one today, so thank you very much. A five of you glad. We will ship it as soon as we can. Um, I only see Tracy. I only ever see the Violet M six hundred Pelican around. Is there no more pink available? Is it something that can be special ordered? So that was a special edition mm -hmm. from. Oh goodness. 2016? Yeah, maybe even earlier. Oh, it it was like my, one of my first M600s. I, like I fell in love. Um, 2014, maybe. Yeah, it was It was quite a few years ago. So your best bet at this point is either eBay or there may be some retailer out there who has one, but they're not available for special order because they are all, all sold out from, from you know, the manufacturer. Yeah. So the Violet is the one that came out last year. That's why it's still available. Um, I would expect this fall or sometime there'll probably be another different color of M600. I haven't heard yet if there will be one, but Violet's the current color. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Yeah, the M1000 Pelican is almost, a flat. it's very soft, very soft. We have the kids come say hi. You can hear him getting away the over there. Hey kids, you want to come say hi? All the people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're well I don't know up. what's going to happen here. Over here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Are all of Brian's pens still like, no, he has, well, no. Let me move my lights. Not all of them. Uh, he brought a good number home. He felt like a Giro Legio 96 pen case. Here's Joseph. What is that? What What is that? <laughs> I don't know what it's I'm looking at. <laughs> 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 this is Ellie. Say hi to, okay. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Well, the Per okay, now we're back to questions. I can't even understand what they're saying. They're laughing so much. Um, will the purple arrow uh, be restocked in different nib sizes? Yes. Yeah. So we had it initially as our exclusive, the violet arrow. Um, I actually had my sweatpants. <laughs> you have your sweatpants? I'm wearing sweatpants, my violet arrow, so we can see what we're talking about. Um, it was our initial exclusive run. Um, now that we are kind of dwindling on stock, they decided they like the color so much, they want to make it regularly available. So we did sell out of a few nib sizes, but we will soon be restocking and carrying it as a regular edition. Um, another question <laughs> will, you got tired just watching my kids? Yeah, I know. Uh, I really wound up after dinner. I don't know <laughs> what it is. Will we still be making our regular videos? Yes. And, um, we did that big survey a few weeks, month or more ago at this point. I don't know. And Six we, weeks ago, maybe? We had a third-party uh, researcher actually help us go through all 2,700 responses and all the comments and help us compile all the themes out of it. Because we started reading it ourselves and we're like, oh, gosh, this is so much. We needed help. So we have a researcher so, we've worked with who went through kind of the qualitative portion of that feedback. Um, and, and did some summaries and stuff like that. Because again, keep in mind, we got this feedback and then all this coronavirus stuff started we, going we got down. The, we got the, yeah, and then and we got like her results. Yeah. Like, yeah, so we definitely have plans to bring back regular videos. Um, we you have, you know, videographer we're, we're working with. It's just the remote thing is making it a little more challenging. We yeah. have a bunch of videos we've already shot but haven't mm -hmm. finished editing. So we're working through those. Um, you know, we interviewed Dante about a couple of new pens coming out and things like that. Yep. So those are forthcoming. We'll have one tomorrow, actually, on the Arco Blue Bee. Um, I just need to write the description for that, and then we'll publish that. Nice. Nice. Um, so, yeah, we absolutely have plans to get back into it. Um, some of the key themes, like 
I mean, everyone likes a different type of video. That's pretty clear. But what makes us special is the behind the scenes and the personal connections. People. So making sure we don't lose that. So whether it's Q&A, whether it's right now, whatever right now, yeah. right time, all these things, whatever they look like. We, um, love, the, we love the puns, don't we? Yeah. In these video days. Swap shop, Penn Plaza, Nib Nook, right to all the things. Um, okay, more we're questions. We're going to keep that going, but obviously, like, we're dealing with a lot right now. It's not business as usual. So some of the video production takes a little bit of a backseat. Um, and I'm sorry for that. But again, we do have stuff that we've shot that we're going to be publishing. So we're hoping that can kind of hold us over. And I think we'll maybe just plan on doing regular live streams right now because it's a little less on the production side when it works. Someone keeps um, asking about an Edison Ascent with a flex nib. So we don't have a flex nib available. It would be something um, that would be a custom grind. I know at one point Edison was offering it as a special thing. I don't think they currently are. So um, that would be like a after factory sort of thing you'd have to do. Um, Susan, uh, Susan in Winbig uh, asks, do you know why the newer Monteralpa Elmos have metal threads? Um, yeah, you have a newer one, don't you? And I think it has metal threads. Um, so honestly, it was just a change that they decided to no, make. No, this is... Um, is that oh, resin I threads? Have uh, I have a Chrysocolla somewhere, maybe. I don't know. I might, too. Um, oh, either gosh, way, I... you just ran over the lights. <laughs> It's a big bright object on the floor. <laughs> I looked at it and now I'm seeing spots everywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a bright line. Um, so so my... they just wanted it to last longer and metal is more durable than resin. So they just, they chose to do that. It was purely their decision. Um, so that's fine. Is the di are the diamine ink, is the diamine, whatever, ink, ink vent to ink, is it coming to be light? Yes. Mm -hmm. I actually swabbed up the ones we're going to carry um, and we just need to, get them scanned in and, uh, you know, figure out all the things for the website. They'll be here in four to six weeks. Um, again, customs, yeah. Corona, who, who knows, but, um, yeah. How's Drew doing? He's good. He's taking care of his kid. So he's, you know, trying to figure out that life balance just like we all are. Um, do we think the pilot Plumix is a good starter stub nip? Yeah. It's very affordable. Who, what, what is, is that? that? <laughs> She's underwear in her head. <laughs> Is that, is that why you're laughing so much? Okay. That's why we're laughing so much. These were making funny LOLs. Um, like, there was one with kebab boosters, which is rocket boosters made of kebabs, and one of course bubble gum. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Would you say the back wall is a periwinkle? Yeah. It's like a corn flowerish. The flower. lighting is is all kinds of whatever. More of a corn what? Well, here's Ellie. What? What? <laughs> well, I don't even understand That's what happened. That's corn. <laughs> She's wearing corn. <laughs> okay. Um, no, the safari candy is not yet available. We're waiting for it to arrive. So check back <laughs> late next week. Um, do we know why the rose gold Twisby is not priced like the classic since it is also plastic? It's not priced like the classic since it is also plastic. Wow, those are hard words. Yes. The precision is metal in the same price range. If the new one is not LE, why the cost? It's the rose gold the, plating. The plating. Um, so they actually had to use a different base material for one. Um, and I'm trying to remember like the stainless steel versus the brass type thing. But they had to use I a different remember. material as a base. This thing gets at least double uh, plated. Yeah. And polished in between each thing. It's it's a whole it's process. Quite a bit more work. So with all the different pieces of rose gold, it's not just another color. It's a whole process. Um, mm. A more expensive material. And really, it's the labor involved. Um, that's part of why they're so delayed too. And they really wanted to get it right. The very first uh, batch they ever had years ago had some flaking issues. They really wanted to solve for that. So you're paying for the extra material and the labor. It's very labor intensive. Got so a, got a question if the pilot Plumix is a good starter stub. I answered that. I think so. You did. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's very affordable. I must He's flying to Mexican the... school. What's Mexican school? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me with this light. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. I know I missed a question. True, missed right a now on Zoom and posting it on YouTube. Yeah. Draft man says I look tired. That's because I am. <laughs> you can understand why. <laughs> Do you know any oh. non-metal nibs? You're curious because you recently developed an allergy to it. Non-metal. Non it have to be plastic. Uh, no non-metal nib. Nothing we sell. I mean, glass dip pens are obviously safe, but um, 
a gold nib. Uh, that's metal. Unless you have an, well, is gold it is metal. Metals? Well, that's true. It depends on your specific metal. Yeah, it allergy. depends on what the allergy is. Have we heard anything about the Lummy Studio 2020 Special Edition? Yes. We can't say. Cannot say. Yes, I can't, I honestly I can't remember, but there will be one later in the year. The studio always comes out like Q3. Um, will Right Time at Nine be a regular event? I think as long as we're like quarantined, you know, why not? Um, I don't know beyond there, but it's yeah. we're not we, we're not quarantined right now. We're like I mean, self, while we're self -quarantined. while we're stuck at yeah, we're not like yeah. because of illness quarantined. We're stay at home yeah. uh, situation. Sarah so, asked if this if this is going to be an ongoing event. Uh, I don't know. We've done it twice now, so it's kind of ongoing. Um, we wanted to kind of see how it went. If we enjoy doing it and, and you all enjoy you, having us. Thank we you might to those going. of you who asked the same question again, if we haven't answered it, because sometimes we just don't see it. We're trying. By. Um, We're updates from trying. Retro 51. So, um, so Retro 51 announced before all this that they're phasing down operations. Um, they have already run out of a few designs. Um, I know like the Corona and a couple other things are completely sold out. So you'll see stuff start disappearing. There will be some restocks, um, but I would guess by the end of summer, uh, it'll be slim pickings. That being said, they are closed right now due to COVID, so they're not shipping at all. But even once they get back up and running, they're winding down. Um, there are going to still be some poppers. Um, we had up in the air to do an exclusive for us um, I don't in time for the holidays, but now given everything going on, the fact they're shut, they're down, shut down and the factories are all impacted. So, uh, we, we may not that's gonna have one, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We've had some good questions that have been coming up. So I want to kind of, did the kids eat a hundred pounds of sugar? No, they didn't. They had a little bowl of ice cream. We had like taco stuff for dinner. We had ice cream with crazy. some marshmallows. I did not pay attention still, to how many marshmallows I had. Um, okay, let's see here. Sailor King of Pen Ebonite or King of Pen Yurushi, which you think is better? Um, I haven't experienced either. I haven't either. experienced those yet. We, we're, that's that's in more like the specialty type of pens that we just haven't gotten to I mean, Yurushi is always cool in my book, but some people love Ebonite. I think it'll be a matter of preference. Um, the Curidas, yeah, it should be in within the week. Yeah. The kids are adorable. Thank you. Um Let's see here. Hang on. I, there's a question here. Oh, is yeah. there a nib you'd recommend for lefties? Is rigidity or flexibility best? Rigidity is best for lefties. It probably depends, like what type of lefty you are. Like you know, an overrider or like a side hook or it's you know whatever. But still, it's it's definitely I, I would think rigidity be better. is better. Now it doesn't mean you can't use flex pens. There are lefties for sure who, who do. It just requires a lot of discipline. A lot more compensation, especially like turning the paper a lot can help. Oh yeah, did any did anyone out there get one of those rare fish pens, the uh, the Retro Fifty One Gone Fishing? Like they put a couple like special ones in there. Mm -hmm. I, I just haven't heard from any of our customers if they got one because we didn't. They're all shrink wrap. We don't open them up, so we didn't know. I think I I didn't I, know it was a thing. I kept one, but I don't know that I have actually, you opened yours. I don't even know where it is. I think it's still at the shop. I don't think I ever grabbed it. Is off your the favorite shelf. pen still the Custom Seventy Four? Um. I mean, it's it's favorite. He will not commit to one. I can't commit pen. to one favorite pen. I got nine. Even all his like top, they're like top three of that. Come on, that's too hard. They're like children. I can't say which one's favorite, my favorite. pen store. It's among my favorites. I have it right here, actually. My Blue Custom Seventy Four. This is the one. This is the yeah, one from the beginning. Um, favorite pen storage or case. Um, gosh, that is also the one that holds the Playing Maria. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that like a dustpan? No. It's like a litter box. It's a scoop. Scoop. Yeah. Wow. It scoops up the poop. <laughs> Toilet humor is very funny to them. Um, Will there be any more of the transparent about? Twisby limited editions? Um, yeah. I mean, they're continuing to oh, yeah. make all the special editions. Um, I'm not, none have been discontinued yet, but. Um, had a good question in there, like, why do people get so excited about the Lamy 2000 when it's such a boring looking pen? Mm. So this I is, mean, it's oh my gosh, caught it. <laughs> this is where it comes down to a matter of personal preference. Some people don't want flashy looking pens. They would think that carrying around something like this is like the worst thing you could ever have. Um, some people like classic looking I pens. I don't think I own a black pen. Get like, out of here. Yes, you I, do. 
Not one that I've chosen for myself. You have a vanishing point rod and galaxy. That is not all black. That's sparkles. It's predominantly black. No, it's predominantly sparkles. Are you talking like, do you have a plain black Yeah, pen? I do not. I don't know about that. I don't. That. Like that wouldn't surprise me. I though. don't love the 2004 myself because I can't find the sweet spot because of my weirdo grip and my angle. I could, with discipline, change to find the sweet spot, but I don't have that patience, and it's not bright and shiny. And, and you like flashier pens, like so it doesn't make your style. I mean, it's a Bauhaus design, which is inherently not flashy. Um, so it just meets that aesthetic. What's the longest hair you've ever had? Ever, <laughs> when I was in seventh, eighth grade, I had a hair down to here, parted straight down the middle. I mean, it's like 90, it looked bad. 97. It was not a good look for me. Well, you had a rat tail as a kid. Oh, that's true. A I did have a rat inch tail. Rat tail when I was in fifth grade, I had a 13 inch rat tail. So imagine some haircut sort of like this, but with a 13 inch rat tail off the back. I don't know why I wanted one of those. It was Adam, by my choice. Adam wants to know, how are you managing work-life balance? Oh, gosh, it's scrolling too fast. How are you managing work-life balance during social distancing measures? And what strategies would you recommend to people here to stay motivated and feeling accomplished during times like these? Um, Adam works with us. <laughs> it feels like a plant. That it feels is a like a planted question. question. We are in, you know, everybody's in different scenarios, right? Like we are in our own unique scenario of having two kids who are now not in school. We're trying to run a business, but doing it remotely. We own the business. So there's a different level of responsibility, you know, than somebody who just works at a business that is maybe gone remote. Um, so for us, it has been like off the rails, bananas, disrupting everything. And we've been trying to figure it all out with very little time for any rest or in the ladder. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness <laughs> um, so for us, it's been, it's been more a matter of like, it's okay to feel like, you know, you're just not doing anything well and take things like one minute at a time yeah. and to have partial information with not much certainty in the future and just trust that you're going to figure it out and you just rally around your family and okay, you like, 6.30 rolls around and we're like, shoot, it's dinner time. What the heck? Okay, cereal for dinner, whatever, you know, and it's like, that's totally just where we're at. Other people in different scenarios, they're like, you know, more living alone. They feel more isolated, lonely, bored. You know, it's a really different experience for everybody. There's so many virtual opportunities to reach out and connect with people. Um, you know, there are a lot of counselors like mine who I talked to earlier today. We're able to do it over, you know, uh, FaceTime thing, you know, um, it's been really weird for me because I've been, I'm so motivated by pressure and like performance and I'm finding that it's not there because right now is a time to recenter and refocus and like even the homeschooling and stuff. It's like, wait, why am I putting all this pressure on myself? Like, wait, this There's is no, a gift. Yeah. This is an opportunity to actually figure out what's truly important. And honestly, like I'm going through like a rediscover myself period. Like who am I outside of my work? I've poured so much of myself into my work for so long or my schoolwork even before that or different jobs. It's like, oh, who am I outside of these things? What do, what do I enjoy? And like rediscovering and finding those things again and enjoying slowing down. Like white space is terrifying for me, but you know, like embracing this, weird place that we're in and trying to find the good because if you don't find the good if you don't find the joy if you don't have like hope and also just knowing that this is temporary and we will get through this but yeah. finding the good and finding gratitude um it goes a long way yeah so definitely uh, a lot of other questions so there's been like 40 um, questions do i think <laughs> life will change when this is over yeah i think um there's sure. a lot of innovation coming out now okay <laughs> your your dolls need to wear more clothes okay <laughs> <laughs> um what this is what it's like all day by the way. <laughs> we're like trying to work and get stuff done daddy 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 what huh oh, what how, do i think okay. things will change after this yeah so i was saying like innovation like 
we didn't really work remotely much before. We just never really made it a priority. Now it's like, okay, technology, we're figuring out how to enable someone to work remotely. So it gives greater flexibility. So I think more people are going to, they're more confident using, uh, you know, Google Hangouts or Zoom and stuff to kind of keep in touch. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to see more of that. Um, I think, again, just gratitude and appreciation for the things we have. I hope that's something we, we stick with us. Is this enough clothes? Yeah. Or this. More corn. Okay. <laughs> More in the world. All right. Why don't you find something else? <laughs> Switch it up a little bit here. Um, okay. What? Let's go back to some pen stuff here. What is more line variation, a stub nib or a talic nib? Those terms are often used interchangeably. It really just has to deal with the crispness of the grind. Um, it's not that necessarily one has more variation than the other, but generally speaking, the italic nib is going to be a crisper line than a stub nib. If you're talking like in truly proper terms, so that would be the technical answer, but it can vary. It's just having one over the other doesn't inherently mean anything. That's like saying our shirts, you know, baggier than pants. Well, like it depends on the size and it depends on, you know, I don't know why that analogy popped in mind. Sorry, I'm trying to deal with some trolls in here. Oh, yes. Hey, you know, you've made it when you're a troll, right? Well, I made this one public. Um, okay, a lot more questions coming in. Uh, favorite blue ink? Favorite blue ink. That's mm, hard. I think diamond blue velvet is my favorite. That's a good one. I really DC like. Super Show Blue, Monteverde DC Super Show Super Show Blue is a good, good one, one too. Nostalgic to Noodler's Liberty's Elysium. Yeah, of course, I knew you were gonna say we, that. we helped develop that. But I'm also a fan of Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. Some really good shading on that one. Um, we have been together for what year are we in? Over 18 years. years. Um, we've been married for like what year is it? Uh, 2020. 11 and a half years. Yeah. Dr. Mode, flat, flat, flat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Um, y'all trolls, get out of here. We don't want any part of this. Remove. No, no, you got it. No, no, I got it. I just deleted them. I want to get no, them you just here. deleted that message. You didn't. Oh. You got to put a timeout. Oh, yeah, you're in timeout. Um, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> okay. There's a lot happening here. Oh, hey, Crystal. Crystal's in here, too. Yes, yeah, awesome. Trevor's all kinds of people. Nice. Trevor shouted you out earlier. Um, <laughs> are we forgetting what day it is? Yes. And also this. No, just... <laughs> Oh, April Fool's was fun with kids home all day. Literally everything out of their mouth was the opposite, followed by Nobody's April Fool's. Nobody's dancing on your head. April Fool's. Oh, I didn't do it that much. Ellie did it that much, though. Yeah. Nobody's There's a birdie in the fridge. April Fool's. Hey, why don't you guys, like, talk about something for a second? You're just coming in and being crazy. We like being crazy. What are some and things, birds. What are some things that you guys are into? Birds. Why don't you tell everybody what you're into? Minecraft. Making animals look funny. Yeah, that too. And using your pants mixed up the animals look funny. Like take a bit. What do you song. guys what do you guys think of fountain pens? These are all fountain pen people. Ooh. Here. Yeah. Oh, I like that color and that one. And you like that, that one? one? You like all three of them? them? Yeah. You guys like your shark pens? Yeah. yeah, we can draw with them and that's good because I like. What are your favorite colors, guys? Yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, indigo, violet, every other color. Joseph is, Joseph is 10 and Ellie is 8. So and Joseph so both is really as old as his business. So uh, he's <laughs> <from> our <laughs> gate. <laughs> It's so pretty. They haven't had the Pelican Kids pens. We have some of those somewhere. Um, that's Did somebody say one. Pelican? Because I'm a Pelican. That's a Pelican? Thing. Thing. I don't know what that is. It's not, I mean, it's not like the big beak thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Pelican, I think. And I have someone with a really long arm. All right, all right. Favorite things besides pens to pass the time? Um. Well, I'm a, I'm a woodworker, so I do like doing woodworking. Um, I'm also into various puzzles like Rubik's cubes and stuff. This one is called the Metamorphix. If you're if you're familiar with that one at all, you're probably not. Um, but yes, I leave puzzles like strewn about all over the house, Rubik's type stuff. Um, Here's a fun one. And we're big into music. Uh, we sing at our church. 
Um, and that's a big part of our lives. Um, so someone's asking me what's up with the, or what's the word on the Banu Scepter? Banu Scepter. So I have some uh, samples to show. So this is the Banu Scepter. It is very wand-like. Um, got a number five nib. So it does like step down quite grip, a bit. Yeah, it seems a bit small, but the pen's not super heavy. So it does not, not post. Yeah, it does not post. But it, there's some very cool colors. So I think um, it looks really cool. You know, it's not the most like comfortable, practical, everyday writing pen, but then but they're, that's okay. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Um, let's, let's see. Good way to water down ink without using water. If you use too much, your ink water condensates and evaporates. I don't know. Sorry, what was that? I guess a clear ink. Water down ink without using school. water. You basically. Okay, okay. We need to. All right, we got to focus here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is my favorite one. It's got like these huge chunks of like holographic glitter in it. That is really crazy looking. Mm hmm. Really That's crazy really cool. looking. So if you think the Lamy 2000 is boring, that would be the opposite of that, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, the kids, the kids know there, there's people out there, but they don't really some, understand. What some good saying. questions here. Um, one was, are we going to do anything beyond just free shipping um, to show appreciation to our customers? Yeah. We're we have some ideas that we're floating around, but. We're brainstorming some things. Um, we're working on a few things, but I, I don't want to commit to anything just yet. Yeah. We're open to ideas though. If you, we would love to know what you would, would you, make you feel appreciated. How would you feel appreciated? Um, some of it's going to be difficult because as we're going through this, we are going to be depleting some okay. of our cash resources. Oh, so we are going to be, um, uh, yeah. How do you block them? I don't know. how to, You can hide user on this. Yeah. I think that's how you do it. You're gone. All right. Um, I lost my train of thought. Something. This is another cool one. Literally just it's like a pink thought. and purple. Ooh, it's wild. It's got some crazy wild. glitter chunks in here. Wild. Um, okay. Well, there's another good question. Hang on that I missed. Sorry, all these like trolls are, you know. Yeah, this is interesting. This is unique. We haven't uh, done this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Have you been keeping up on practicing your nib work? No, not at all unfortunately, because of all the things. Yeah, I just... Um, oh, other hobbies? Mario Kart. A lot of Mario Kart. One. Yeah. The nib work stuff, I shouldn't say no, not at all. I haven't been doing like a lot of grinding. Are we familiar practice. with uh, Shone? Yeah, Ian Shone. The, those mm -hmm. are really cool pens. We started talking to him last year. Um, he wanted to ramp up production before we could, you know, look yeah. at retail, but we were definitely talking for sure. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Uh, what other questions are in here? It's at what price point do you like a special stop new sticker? It's something we're talking about. Yeah. Right. Danny asked at what price price point do you stop getting better performance and start get paying for art? Ooh. That is not a fixed uh, point. Uh, I think that it can vary a lot. I think you can argue that the platinum preppy at $5 and the platinum profonte at $10, you're paying more for art than you are for a different pen. Um, that could be, that argument could be made and you could also make that same argument on much more expensive pens. So it is an entirely subjective answer. I definitely think by the time you hit a thousand dollars, like it's all art oh, at that point. For sure. 500, 700, it's hard to know exactly. Yeah. But. I think when you get into the three to $500 range, you're getting some pretty serious artistic kind of design qualities into a pen. And that's, that's what starts to really distinguish it. Oh, there was a question that came up a few times. Well, the rose gold plating on the new Twisby um, degrade with iron gall inks. I would think so. Yeah. So use, I wouldn't, use caution. I wouldn't, I mean, it depends on the iron gall, right? Like, so modern iron galls, like some of the roaring clingers, you know, stuff that's, that's not tr true. Like iron gall, um, is, is going to be a little safer, I think, but I, I don't know. We literally just got the pen in today. I don't know if they've tested it with iron gall, but like true iron gall, like if you take oak galls out of your, you know, yard and grind them up and turn them into ink and yeah they're going to corrode it's uh, highly acidic question if we'd carry the new noodlers uh roller bath pens and the roller eel ink um we haven't heard that it's yet available for retailers um but we'll definitely look into it um if and once it is um mm -hmm. yes we will be having some of the new ink vent colors um especially all the shimmer and the sheen we're going to start with those but if 
if there's a lot of demand for the standard ones, I could see adding those as well. We're going to start with the shimmer and the shimmer. Yeah, the chicken sticker. Yeah, unique stickers are something we're talking about. So, um, yeah, lots of ideas floating around. Sarah asked if any word. Oh, favorite filling mechanisms. I can't oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Any word of Monte Grappa will make a budget friendly Lord of the Rings pen? Like an open edition, because I always I would have like imagine, a limited and then an open. I I, I would imagine would not be surprised. so, but I don't know for sure. And things, they are things, I mean, they're they, in northern Italy, so that they they've been hit hard. Shut down. So yeah. um, everything's just going to be delayed this year. Stuff that normally would have come out in the summer might be fall or winter. It's it's going to be a weird rest of the year. Um, favorite mm -hmm. filling mechanism. Um, gosh, this one varies so much. Honestly, um, if I had to pick one. Ah, uh, I hate making these decisions, you guys. Um, honestly, cartridge converter is hard to beat just because of its practicality. And I change my inks a lot and they're just so easy to clean. I would say piston, piston is really because good. I can... It, the vacuum ink, fillers are so fun. I like a piston, mm. uh, especially the twist piece, because greater ink capacity and you can see your ink. You're not, you know, like all these like layers in between. And I don't clean my pens. Yeah, I clean them out. Maybe that's why <laughs> you like them more. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, there's so many more pens that are cartridge converter pens. So I feel like if I chose a different filling mechanism, I would be limiting my pen choice options much more. Uh, is Diamond Gold Star from the Ink Pen Counter the same as Golden Sands? Um, I did swab it up and I don't think it's exactly the same. Hi, uh, I'm Minnie Mouse and you're not. <laughs> You're right. I'm not Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. That looks like a skunk. <laughs> um, you also have a four-fingered, four-fingered red <laughs> favorite pen. Um, I use a lot of Twisbees. The Twisby Eco has been my go-to. Um, lately, I've really been enjoying the Diplomat Arrow. Mm -hmm. um, all of mine in broad, you know, full disclaimer, which is also why I like a big ink capacity because I go through some ink like crazy. Um, really enjoying the Arrow. Um, basically, anything with a rounded grip that I can fit all my fingers on. Um, is important. Um, if it's like, I don't like the Safari or the All-Star just because of the triangle. And it or just, the Eco T. Or you the Eco like T. Yeah. So like me trying to hold. Too triangular for her. I, I like have to use three finger and it feels weird. Like if I do, four, it just, it doesn't feel right. Um, I do like the Vanishing Point. That one actually suits me well. Um, and uh, what other pens recently? I like the Panider La Grande Beleza. That one's a lot of fun. Um, That's a cool pen. And the Custom 74. I really enjoy that, too. Mm -hmm. All good pens. Custom 23 is nice. Yeah. Um, and now I need to try some more sailors. Yeah. Can we see the return of the Gulay thank you cards for sale? I, I, Who knows? <laughs> mm. um, That's a good question. What dilution ratio would you, would you recommend for organics? Studio, it does not flow in my pens. That can be kind of a thick ink. And Hi, the flow I'm can be. <laughs> and I'm Minnie Mouse. It does kind of look like Mickey and Minnie. Okay, Ellie, stop putting okay. this on my face, dear. <laughs> that That's hurts. not your face. <laughs> That's not my face. That is true. Yeah, the Fig Boot okay. um, Pens review of Hotel Pens today was pretty funny. Like, <laughs> nice, nice, uh, good spirited April Fool's, uh, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, what pen do you recommend for checking student papers? You want a reliable one because you deal with different types of paper while checking. Um, I mean, a vanishing point would be good. You got like the click, you know, because you don't want like you don't want to cap and recap, but you're like while you're reading stuff, but you don't to think need to mark who, all the time. Just so like, I'm not a teacher, so I, I'm trying to think of who I've talked to before. It's really all over the place. They usually, uh, teachers usually ask more about ink uh, choices than pen choices. Um, Lamy tends to be pretty popular choices, safaris, and stuff like that for teachers. Um, they're kind of workhorse pens and they're pretty reliable. So like a Lamy safari type of pen is generally pretty well received in like an extra fine or a fine nib um because that will do well on like school grade which is usually a pretty X feather paper. Ink. yeah that'll hold X up well on good. that paper yeah absolutely vanishing point versus curidos that's a question that comes up a lot it's it's and they're both retractable but they're very different um they are very different like you have the metal versus the plastic the size is very different you have the gold nib versus the steel nib so it's really hard to compare you know and they're two very different price points. You know, they exactly. they have a similar action to them with the clicking, mm -hmm. but I really don't think one is replaceable for the other personally. Mm -hmm. There's um, there's still value in the vanishing point at the higher price with the gold nib, the metal body. Um, I did bring my curator's home actually. Ooh, I do have one shampoo. Because I do have one. 
in my massive pen <laughs> thing because I was like, what pens do I need? All of them. Not really, but where's my curious? Um, oh, I could like tease this as a sneak peek. No, no don't. No? Okay. We have some stuff we're working on for later in the year. Brandis, be careful. I do. Yeah, I really should be cautious. Okay, here's a Kyrgyz. And then here's a Vanishing Point for comparison. So there's a Kyrgyz. There we go. Ta-da! So it definitely feels like like a plastic pen. It, it's much lighter. It, it's it's sturdier than I expected. How do you pronounce Namiki? Namiki. Yeah. And then here's, here's your Vanishing Point. It's got so, a little crisper um, sound to it. It's got a little size. more solid feel. Let's see if I can compare the two. So the Curidas body longer. is longer. It's a little fatter. The translucency is pretty cool. That I will say. People have asked for like a clear vanishing point for forever, mm -hmm. but they just can't really do it. But then you got like cool rotten in here. Mm. Well. Now you're talking about a pen that's like 10 times the price is the Yeah, this is so 800 That's an expensive instead of one. 80 so. But yeah, you, you're getting what you pay for there. Um, really cool pens. I don't, I don't, personally, I don't think it's like, this is, oh, this is a better value, but what it's, they're different pens to me. What's your opinion on the Soft Fine Resin Pilot Falcon? It's really popular. I haven't used it myself. It was like the original. But it's still really popular. Yeah, I mean that's my that's my favorite nib size of the of the Falcon. The Falcon is the soft fine. There's a, a there's a soft thin, extra fine. Does the fin on the carry dust bother you? Does it bother me personally? Not so much, but I can see where it would bother you. So you're talking like this little thing down at the bottom. Um, where I hold it, it doesn't really bother me. But I could see if you hold closer to the grip, or sorry, closer to the the, the tip there. Oh, I don't come between. anywhere close to touching that. No. Yeah. This is, I don't think it's going to bother many people. This is the little fin we're talking about. There. Yeah, it's like a little. It's like a little cutout that allows the trap door to open up on the inside there. That's why it's there. Instead of you showing us a pre us showing you showing us appreciation, how can we show you guys appreciation? I, I, I'm re it's weird reading the <laughs> question as I'm like... You're pointing to the right. Um, you know, like our team wants to talk to people, um, you know, because we're sitting at home and, you know, the order volume is not what it normally is for obvious reasons. Yeah. So we just want to talk pens. Um, you can write letters. Um, well, I have to scan them in and send them to folks, but, you know, sending us emails, getting on live chat. Just talking about Being pens. in videos like this, like just being around, being engaged. Part of what, I mean, we've talked to our own team about like, okay, we're going to get through this. It's going to, it's going to be weird for a while. We'll get back to normal, you know, but I think part of the weirdest thing is like, if people aren't around, then they don't feel like it's normal. But if it's, if people are still interested in pens and talking about them, asking about them, then it feels like, okay, we, once we get through this weird period, everybody will still kind of be there, be interested in pens and stuff like that. Cause you know, that's, that's part of the concern with a, you know, call it a discretionary lifestyle type product is when times get really hard, theoretically, you don't need any more pens. You don't need, you know, yes, of course need, we need pens. Right. But you know, when it comes down to like buying food or getting pens, you should buy food. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people losing jobs, a lot of people in hard spots. So of course the concern is when we get through this, depending on how bad it gets, what's going to be there on the other side for us, you know, being in kind of a discretionary, so to speak, you know, business. So, man, there's a lot of really good questions coming in. Like <sighs> whenever really we, whenever questions. we talk for like 30 seconds or more on a question, everybody dumps amazing questions in. Okay. So let's hit some of these, Rachel. And then we're there, more, there are more questions for you. We're going to have to wrap up soon. Yeah. Because um, we've gone the almost Fermo, um, They're no longer uh, bringing it into the U.S. I don't know if they stopped making it completely, but they definitely stopped bringing it in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, what, there what was some above that. Keep going. Above this. Okay. Uh, Even above that. Here? Yeah. They, were, they just like, poof, they start pouring Oh, my gosh. Y'all have a lot of really good questions. Um, any maintenance differences with hooded nib pens? You just got to flush out the hooded part a little bit every now and then. Um, sometimes the clicking motion uh, can can like cause little droplets of ink to get inside the little trap door. Um, but you just got to wash that out. But it's it's not a huge pain. How would you go about smoothing an extra fine Japanese nib without micro mesh? Uh, 
I wouldn't. There you go. Favorite. I mean, you can use like an Arkansas stone, some other, but that's going to be, that's going to cost you more than micro mesh. And it's, you're not going to have that laying around. If you sharpen knives, basically you might have one of those. Um, you can get other types of abrasive, but you're not going to find anything laying around the house. That's a fine enough abrasive to actually smooth your nib. Um, the reason we offer micro mesh is because it's going to be the most economical and the safest option for your nib versus like, I've heard of people like using a brown paper bag or whatever. That's, that's not really going to be a reliable source. Uh, our favorite saturated blue inks. I think we answered this earlier. I mean, blue velvet or Monteverde DC super show blue. I can't decide. And Liberty's Lisium. That's a good one, yeah. Brian, Those are pretty good. Sure. How are pretty many good. bottles of ink do you own? Don't you don't know? 250. Wow. Probably more. Probably more. I have all those color verses from the original batch that we had. That's mm -hmm. probably 50 right there. And keep special editions of stuff. I mean, I got a whole diamond ink vent set. That's 25 right there. You know, in it's, your it's Lamy a lot. Lux, you use the shimmering ink and now it's stuck in the feed. Do you know any ways to get it out? Um, flushing, like if you have a pen flush type solution, um, that helps. Um, the best way, honestly, is mechanically, like with a toothbrush. Um, if you're able to, sometimes those Lamy feeds are tricky to get out and even trickier to get back. In. We have a video on how to safely replace your Lamy you feed. You do, yeah. It's very easy have to ruin to... it and get stuck and then your pen's ruined. But it can be done. It can mm -hmm. be done. But any pen that has that shimmering stuff, that's the risk to take. But the pen flush will help it get, it get most of it. Are we still getting mail from the shop? If so, you'll send a letter where mm -hmm. we get it. Yes, we are having the mail we forwarded. forwarded to our house. So yeah. we will get it for sure. Yep. Uh, the best pens for people that hold the section distant to the nib. So people who hold their pens. That's me. Back. I mean, I, I tend to hold my pens a little further back. I have large hands. Um, I mean, anything with like a large one? grip section, you know, I, oh. I can't think offhand. Honestly, I'm going to bring up the Lamy 2000 again, but the Lamy 2000 has no step. So you can really hold it anywhere that feels comfortable to you. That's a huge okay. advantage for people that hold it really far back. Like I hold my Lamy 2000 pretty far back. I usually hold my thumb like way far back on most pens and uh, no problem at all. Love the new Sailor pens. Any plans to get the Riallo? Um, so yeah, we've got totally a can. lot of questions about it. Um, we didn't start with it at launch because we were just starting with what was recommended to us as the most popular, but we've got a lot of questions for it. So I think once things like, you know, once Etoya ship, once they're shipping more normally and we're receiving and we can like handle new products, stuff like that again, I'm very, very open to it for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Um, we have like place to order because things aren't normal, but, for, um, I'm, I'm very interested in adding it. Have you heard of cleaning issues with the Peniter Avatar? Um, I've heard of some with the one with the rubber grip, the Avatar um, demo. demos. Which is changing. Um, again, this whole thing threw off the timeline for that. Yeah. Um, but the grip will be changing to not the, the rubber yeah. thing. And it's not really a problem. It's just, it's it's, just ink can get under. Yeah, ink can get under and you have to kind of wash it out. It rinses out though. Um, otherwise, no, I haven't really had any, heard problems cleaning it. Have we thought about having a remote right now with uh, Drew or others? Possibly. I mean, possibly, again, it's... being respectful of their family time as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's possible. We haven't really talked about it yet, to be honest. Is the Pelican Edelstein coming in soon? So it was supposed to. And then the distributor had to close uh, because of where yeah. they're located. Um, so I don't know when it's coming at this point, um, but it was like on the way last we heard. Yeah. Um, but they're closed. They're so closed. They're no based anymore. out of New York, I think, and they closed yeah. completely. New Hampshire or is Massachusetts. Hampshire? Or, I don't know. Some, Sometimes their somewhere. headquarters are in different places and their warehouses. and it's Somewhere up there. It's confusing. We have 51, I think, different vendors that we buy through for all the products we carry. Or like they'll have a corporate so office, you can imagine, but then the warehouse is different. Yeah, yeah, you can imagine what it takes to coordinate all of that with every shipment and what's coming when and what's going to be in the shipment. And it's, A normal uh, avatar? I haven't heard any complaints of the difficulty of cleaning it. Mm -hmm. um, this question came up a couple of times. Is there any part of the writing related supply chain that has surprised you by how fragile it is? Um, at this point, we're not surprised, surprised by no. anything because we like, gosh, Noodlers was one of our first brands and that's a guy in his house making the ink, you know, shipping elsewhere. So like, the mm -hmm. more we've been in the business, the more we've kind of understood how small our industry actually is, um, how small a lot of these companies are. And you've visited a lot of manufacturers now and they're just, mm -hmm. they're small. Um, Relatively speaking. Yeah. So yeah, we are, yeah. we are well, fragile in that regard. 
um, but I'm not surprised by that well, anymore. I'm well fragile, you know, in any manufacturing scenario, especially with the kind of a niche industry like this, you're going to have a kind of an interdependency of supply chain, you know, and that's, that's normal for pretty much everything that's produced these days. No, I haven't heard from Nathan. Um, um, I know he's still shipping stuff, so. Yeah, he's pretty much lives a life of self quarantine. So I wouldn't, it, I wouldn't think that he's going to be impacted much um, any more than the rest of us. But um, yeah. For a that's while, you'd recommend the Lamy 2000 and Pilot VP as the best starter gold pens. Would you now recommend any sailors? Um, I still definitely stand by Lamy 2000 and. You know, Vanishing Point, they're great. Custom 74. Starters. Yeah, Custom 74 is good. Pilot E95S is a really good starter I think we have a uh, video or blog on, like, the best uh -huh. gold starter pens. There's actually a, a shopping guide on our site yeah. there, too. I, I mean, haven't added Sailor yet, but, yeah. For sure, for sure, Sailor's the price in the point, mix. The price point's right, yeah. They're in the mix there. I mean, if you're looking at a Platinum 3776, you should just as well be looking at uh, a Sailor 1911S or a Pro Gear Slim. Yeah, because um, it's right in the same kind of category as those. They're all they're kind smaller, of equal, equal weighting. Yeah, yeah, they're smaller pens. They're smaller pens mm -hmm. than like a custom seventy four or um, uh, platinum thirty seven. Yeah, I, I love the custom seventy four. It's it's one of my favorite nibs. Um, so will we well. be carrying the Sailor fifty state sinks? Um, possibly. We haven't placed that order yet. Right now, it's just California and Colorado. I'm kind of curious to see hmm. what else they come out with. Like, I don't really know what the cadence is going to look like. <laughs> um, but especially no one since, knows what the cadence is going to look like. Well, especially now, but since yeah. we're working remotely, like we have photographers working from home. Like I'm swabbing it, and then I got to mail the swab to someone. It's 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 a lot <laughs> of work to carry ink right now, so it might have to wait until we're kind of back to normal. Um, will we ever get the Platinum 3776 Carnelian in Ultra Extra Fine? Um, it was not, not, um, it was made not brought or in. That's a North American exclusive, and I don't know whether I don't know if it was an option for them to get it from Platinum or whether they just chose not to. Um, is there a follow up to the Platinum Roca planned? Probably. They do a limited every year. I haven't heard mm -hmm. what it is though. And again, I don't know if things are delayed, but typically in yeah. July um, we see a limited edition 3776. Um, any hints on what could be next with Edison pens? <laughs> we, another plant of a course. No, it's, um, we like literally have an open phone call that we need to have to plan out the next one. So again, virus throwing everything off. Yeah. Um, Edison has been rocked just like we have as a small manufacturer. So we, we are talking about like, Hey, we, literally the email, we wanted to be doing something the right email now. email ball <laughs> is in our court. Like it was, hey, let's hop on the phone and discuss the next because, you know, so I have we, a lot of email balls in my <laughs> ball, my ball pit of an email inbox right now. Um, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It's Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Who's Pete? This is Pete. Oh my gosh. Whoops. OK, can't put it on the mouse and keyboard. That's okay. all right. This is go. Pete. We've been watching a lot of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. This is Pete. That's Pete. <laughs> Okay, that, these are just crazy. And that's Professor Von Drake. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see. And this is Clara. <laughs> wow. These are all like opposites. <laughs> so these LOL, go. these LOL surprise dolls, if you're not familiar with them, <laughs> you like unbox these things. It's a surprise each one you're going to get. And it has all these different outfits and stuff like that. There's all these characters with like 8 million that you can collect so they can extract as much money out of you as it possible. It is her obsession. She has... <sighs> So, and she saves up like all her money that she gets for, you know, for, oh yeah, she chores. earns it all, but yeah, that's what I she mean, spends and then her face Christmas and stuff too, but, but she was mixing and matching all the clothes and making these crazy characters. That's why she's so excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, no more Orion collab pen. So Orion was a name that was just a name of a color of pen that we had the for Franklin Christoph. Franklin Christoph. So they only, they only have capacity to do one collaboration with us per year and we already did it. So. There we go. That's it. It sold out in six minutes and then we wait a year. So that's just their capacity. We're grateful to have one pen a year and we would love to do more, but you know, you basically have to get, order something from Franklin Kristoff directly if you want. We something. are over an hour, so we should probably wrap this up. We really should. We need and to get also, our children to bed. Yeah, it's 10, 10. Oh, they're not going to go to Pray sleep. Pray for us. They're not going to go to <laughs> sleep for like two hours. This is where we're at right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop here. Thank you. You all have a lot of really good questions, and we're sorry not to answer all of them, but we're glad to be able to be here to answer some of them. I'm going to try and figure out a better way to do this Look, live stream next right week. Right now, 
but, nothing is normal. We're all doing our best and good enough has really shifted in what that is. So yeah, we're say. giving ourselves grace. <laughs> Give yourself grace. Absolutely. Like, Trek, you're very welcome. Thank yeah. you. Thank you at all. Yes, we're glad to have been here with you tonight. We love feeling kind of connected. Life is just crazy for all of us we're right now. We're here in the long run. It's all good. And we're just we're in it with all of you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Thank you, everybody. It's wonderful. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>